acting at. They're gonna be like, oh, so these people don't know how to act. Actually, acting. Let alone tie his shoe. Everybody <laughs> they can't see it. Tie your shoe. Is that I just picture? showed you. That window was outside. You can see outside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was thinking there was a frame. So that's really you had it with halfway left. Right? Well, birds cut of all sorts. Why did you pick those? Throw the trash away. They better have a watch. They better have a watch. Huh? You better have a watch. Huh? Oh, do you need to change into them? You want to go in the bathroom? I'm not going nowhere. They're going to go in the corner and not know if that's what they're going to do. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, they want you to put them on, I guess. I mean, she put them over there. Dude, that's YouTube. What you doing? I'm not going to change what I can see. Mm -hmm. Dude, stop. I just touched my shoe. Don't touch that. You know them too much. She brought both of her little boys. Daniel and what was the other little boy? Hello. 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 Dr. Bach, how are we doing today? Hello. We're, we're, we're okay. Okay. We're running late today. Things happen. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. that's true. It's a pleasure to meet you. Same here. I can't see that well. He's okay. reaching out his oh, hand. Okay. okay. Sorry about that. That's okay. I'm sure. That's my pleasures. daughter. And these are her two godsons, Hakeem good. and Corbin. Very good. Welcome. Cool. This job may be cool. What? <laughs> Being a neuro. Oh, well, he wants to be a neurosurgeon. Oh, very good. A brain surgeon. We need more good ones. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's only a few that I know who are good. Miss mm -hmm. Eleanor. Yes. Um, how long have you been wheelchair bound? Um, I'm off and on, so I'm trying to see how long have I actually been in the wheelchair. So it's possibly, oh, 2000, well, 1999, okay. off and on. I okay. knew where I could stand up and... But recently, when did I come back from the rehab? 2010, then that's when it seemed like I lost the ability to extend and, okay. and my legs and be able to stand up. But I still always use the wheelchair because I uh, couldn't walk a long distance sometimes. But I had returned back to work. I am a retired registered dental hygienist. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I was the only one in the state of Mississippi work from a wheelchair. But okay. I was still able to somewhat move my legs a little bit. But uh, so it's off and on. This disease mimics MS. And it's very rare. For 23 years, I was misdiagnosed. They thought I had multiple sclerosis. And not until 2006, they died, a doctor. Evans diagnosed me to have neuromyelitis optica because it affects the optic nerve and the spinal cord. So it's been real up and down, up and down, up and down. What's the prognosis with that? They really don't know, but something that I've noticed, the heat seems to exacerbate it worse. So okay. Florida, I try to live like a, a, a bat, come out at night. And don't do too much during the day because it's so hot. Okay. And we, I noticed when I was went to rehab for the blind up in Tupelo and Jackson, Mississippi, it's up north. Mm -hmm. I seem to have gotten better. It's like it went away. You ever thought about moving? Yes. I, well, I moved here, but this is not the best place to move. I moved right. Uh, uh, you know, the Gulf Coast, Mississippi, to here. I don't think it was a wise. You ever think about moving more north? Yeah, that would be a better place for me, I think. Okay. There's a clinic in uh, Baltimore, in via Baltimore, Maryland, that uh, spy specifically targets neuromyelitis optica. Okay. And I called up there, 
and they didn't feel like it would make a big difference. But I've noticed that there's a difference in me. I'm originally from New York City anyway. Okay. So uh, Dr. Robert Currier, he, maybe because I never went south when I was a little girl, okay. my body didn't build up the antibodies against the intense heat. Okay. So here I am, but I don't have the antibodies. I, I don't know. I just don't know. But yeah, I have thought about, I wish I could go back. So you get stiffness, spasms, tingling in the legs, lower legs. Mm -hmm. And that's a but constant? Uh, it's, it's off and on. Uh, what we tried to do, oh, I know I moved it. So I could uh, uh, go swimming okay. and build a pool. But okay. bought a brand new house, called the pool people. They said they couldn't get a bulldozer in my backyard. So we go to the YMCA. Okay. And I get in the uh, pool there. That seems to help my spinal cord. Okay. And Dr. Bawa has me on medical marijuana. So that seems to help also. What, um, what activities seem to, like when you do exercises, mm -hmm. does that, do you fatigue quickly? Yeah. I do you fatigue. feel like after you fatigue and you regain your strength to do the activity again, do you feel like you're building stamina? Do you yeah. build strength? Yeah. All right. I used to work out with bodybuilders, and literally, they got me back where I came back walking. Okay. And uh, maybe because they were so strong, they didn't fear helping me out, get me up on the machines. And matter of fact, a friend of mine, Johnny Walker, he also is a heavyweight bodybuilder over in Pascagoula. He's a chiropractor as well. And he told Miss Blackwell, you can never stop exerciser because mm -hmm. you now are a bodybuilder but I stopped mm -hmm. and I, I regressed I went back to the wheelchair but it's gonna take exercise so my daughter takes me quite a bit to the uh, gym okay. anytime fitness that seems to help but she don't have anybody to help me get on certain machines to help build my legs back up okay so we do basically upper body stuff but um, that's it that's basically it. But I need to do some kind of bicycle and stuff like that. When was the last time you went to the chiropractor? Oh, it's been over 10 years since 2010. Oh, uh, oh no, we went to uh, Brian. Uh, what's his name? I forgot. Uh, Ryan Garcia. Yeah, Ryan Garcia. Okay. I forgot all about him. How long ago was that? Uh, when did we go to 2015, 16? Probably 2015. Okay. As soon as we got here, we got in a car accident. Yeah, I forgot all about him. Alright, so I want to bridge the gap of information you may know versus information you might not know. Okay. So, as a chiropractor, our main focus is your spine. Alright, your spine has two main functions. Number one, it supports you, keeps you upright. The way your spine does that, we call that your posture. Mm -hmm. Second, it protects your spinal cord. Having healthy spinal cord, as I'm sure you're aware, mm -hmm. is the most essential thing for how your body works and stays alive and healthy. Mm -hmm. So how this works is your brain has to communicate by sending messages down the spinal cord. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give you a kink in your neck, but there's a poster on this side. Oh, oh, to my right. Can you see this poster? I can't see anything she probably can Okay, see, yeah. but essentially your brain has to communicate messages down your spine mm -hmm. to all the organs of your body. Mm -hmm. Those organs need that information to keep you alive and well. Mm -hmm. Now you can have stresses in your life that shift those bones out of place. That shift is called the subluxation. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard that word before? Yes. All right. So subluxations will act like a dimmer switch on the wall. It will lessen the communication going to the organs at those various levels. And over time, those organs can progressively get weaker, degenerate, lead to sickness and disease. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, when you have subluxations, your body will naturally develop a compensation. You will shift and distort your posture to deal with that subluxation. Mm -hmm. And commonly, when you have a weakened, distorted posture, that will put stress on the entire spinal canal. If your entire spinal canal and spinal cord are under more stress, that will compromise the communication to all of the organs of the body. Mm -hmm. And that can take a cumulative effect on your overall health, progressively getting weaker, degenerating, leading to sickness and disease. Does that make sense? A lot of sense. Okay, so it's really common to have distortions. It's really common to have spinal cord stress. 
and not have pain or symptoms with it. Mm. So that's why it's really dangerous because by the time you have pain, stresses, compromises to your organs, I know those nerves in that area, I know they're inflamed, I know your body's at a crisis at that level. So what we really need to identify is, number one, are you suffering from subluxations? Where are they? How bad are they? Can I help you with those? How long is that gonna take? What is needed to be done to help